So, you probably noticed in the title I want to do Mario 64, but this is like an interesting uh, modified version of it. In that you play the game in first person mode, which sounds weird, but I think I think you'll enjoy this. It's me, Mario. It's, it's going to be weird, I think. Well, let me just make sure you guys can see that thing. Yep. Also, hi Tev. And Pickle Jar, hi. Welcome to the stream. And Wertum. Now, I was going to start by making a save file with zero stars just so I can jump straight into it and show you, but I think it's better I show you what happens when you start the game without doing that. So the camera, for some reason, is just like placed out of bounds Peach. under the under the fucking like castle gardens, and I think it's kind of funny that way. So yeah, if it looks glitched, don't worry. This is um, how it's supposed to look. It will look normal once we get uh, once Mario starts to appear. It will look normal. I like that during this whole thing, the camera is fixated on Lucky to just like moving around. So this hack was made by a guy that I've played a few ROM hacks of before, uh, K Kazi, I think his name is, Kazi Eminar, I probably don't, didn't get that right, but I've previously played Super Mario 64 Odyssey, I've played, also this is what it looks like. Also when you stand still you can see Mario's sort of head like bob back and forth like he does in the game, and then and the camera reflects that. I've also played... Fuck, what's it called again? The Mario 64 Maker? Fidget Spinner 64? He's done quite a few things. Like, those are the most noteworthy ones that I've played. Oh, that's the dive. Right, okay. A and but A and the A and B buttons are swapped, but I think I can deal with that. So, what happens if I do a triple jump? Because you like backflipping shit? Let me try getting a run up here. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that looks weird. Hi, MSP. So let's try, try, let's try doing the crouch flip from this. God, see, because you like flip back and forth, the left and right audio doesn't know what to do, so it kind of like flips back and forth between the two channels. So it's almost ASMR-ish. Like, if you really listen closely. Also, there's Lakitu. Don't know how long I'm going to be playing this for. I might do quite a few stars, just so we can see some of the levels in first person. Also, while you're walking around, the C up and C down buttons. Oh, they're reversed for some reason. Or is that normal? But yeah, C down, make sure you look up and C up, make sure you look down. So one thing in this castle that you don't really get to see, oh, if I can walk around here, is you don't normally get to see that window above the door. So that's what that looks like. You don't normally see that through normal gameplay, like, because the camera never fixates on that one point. Oh, jeez. Oh. This is weird, like... It's kind of hard to describe, like, because of the way you're moving in first person, the controls are not quite, like... Let's just say there's a little bit of a disconnect, but it's something I'll probably adjust to. Now, apparently I should have the locked camera mode on, let's see. I think this. Right, okay, so if there's like any moments with, with the camera like fixes on a spot, I should use that. Imagine playing this on the fucking Oculus. You know, I'm actually not doing too bad, all things considered. So basically holding forward makes you like run forward and 
the steer you can steer with left and right, kind of. But it still feels a little bit weird, like for a Mario game. Can't wait for Kazzy to hack Super Mario Odyssey in 20 years from now. Like 20 years time. If I can do the first person on that shit. Ow. <laughs> I was trying to do a backflip there, didn't really pan out. Usually I do like a backflip or like the, the jump flip thing. But I don't know how to... Nah. Yeah, it's a lot harder than it seems. Right, so we're up to King bob -omb. You know, for the longest time, I used to think that his moustache was actually like a mouth or something. Just because it was like a set of polygons and it wasn't really well defined. It wasn't until Mario 64 DS that I realised, oh, that's actually meant to be a fucking moustache. Okay then. This is going to be hard to grab. Also, the camera's going a bit crazy. There we go. Are you going to continue with the De Kong Racing DS? Um, I'm going to be using... I think I've got like a DS flashcard. I could just like export the emulation save onto that and just try it that way. Because I don't think I'll be able to do it with the touchscreen, like... Touchscreen emulation like that fucking balloon minigame is near impossible with a mouse. So I might as well do it on actual hardware and that would probably work better. Because I don't actually own the game, but I do have like a flashcard that I could put it onto. Also, his eyes look really weird. Like, they looked a bit bug-eyed there for a second. I can only imagine what this is like fighting Bowser with first person. Like, just spinning around non-stop. There we go. Yay! First star. Yeah, the camera's a little bit weird. Like, it kind of bugs out a bit, but... It's playable enough that I can actually see what's going on. This looks nauseating to be honest, it kind of is a little bit weird. Like, I'm one of the fortunate people who don't get motion sickness that easily, but I can totally see someone getting a little bit a little bit sick in the stomach just playing this. Maybe if I was playing it on like an Oculus Rift or something like that, I would actually feel a little bit motion sickness. Plus the camera lens is a little bit, uh, what, what do you call it, fisheye lens? It's kind of like that, kind of. It's kind of hard to describe, but like, the focal point seems a little bit, like, intense. Like the FOV field of view. Koopa the Quick doesn't know you're cheating if you do this, right? I'm surprised- I'm surprised I actually fucking landed that there. I just need to wait for him to get up to this point. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Fucking weird first person mode. Okay, that looks weird. Let's see if I can get a close up of Koopa the Quick's face before we grab that star. Assuming I don't fucking walk into the star. We'll do this and... Yeah, I can't, can't quite get a good... Mm, that's, about as good <laughs> that's about as good as it's going to look. Here we go. Oh, 
Ah. I don't even know what's going on. Right, there we go. What was the name of that bob -omb character in Paper Mario that was, like, pink? Was it Bombette or something? Right, so apparently the cannon doesn't work in first-person mode very well. Or at all. But I'll see what it's like, see if I can actually get up there with the... Oh, right, it doesn't actually... Well, let's try to guess this. Okay, that's not even close. Yeah, that's, I don't think that's going to be doable, so let's instead grab the star in this area. If I can even... This might actually be quite tricky. Ah. Holy shit, I actually fucking did that. Just for context, doing that normally I usually fuck up quite a lot. I didn't actually think I was going to get that. Right, now we've got three stars, so we can check a few other levels. Oh, I've got an idea, actually. Oh. It's kind of difficult to, like, navigate when you bump into a wall, because the camera just, like, goes apeshit. I'm going to check Peach's slide, and I'm just going to do a head-first dive. Ah! The slide as hell. Right, let's see what it's like. Oh fuck. Am I going backwards? Oh no, I'm going forwards. Right, good. What you don't actually know is that this is actually Nintendo from the Nintendo Direct coming out next month. And this is Mario Kart 8 DLC. 250cc reveal, going down Peach's slide. Don't know if I'll be able to get the... How many seconds do you need to be? Is it like under 21 seconds for the second star? But yeah, even though it's not confirmed yet, I think the general consensus is most people believe there's going to be a, a January Direct. I've talked about this before, but um, today there was like a leaked listing from Amazon that kind of like lends to that sort of general thinking. If I can get in there, please. Like Amazon leaked a listing for two unknown games for the Switch in the thumbnail set that they were revealed during a, a, a Switch event. It didn't say a direct, but it said a switch event, so it might possibly be that. Ah, fuck. I need to hold up on the fucking C stick. The camera keeps bobbing up and down. Ah, fuck. I'm gonna try that one more time. The worst part about this hack is trying to navigate the castle, because you keep bumping into walls and then the game doesn't know what to do. Also, for some reason, holding up makes me walk out that door. That I just go in. If you're wondering why I'm doing that... Like, if I let go and then hold forward, I can actually walk forward.
Right, I think I'm on good time now. Yeah, this one for sure. 20.1. I was hoping to, like, dive toward that there. There we go. Yeah, grabbing stars alone can be a bit of a nightmare trying to do it in first person. Right, let's check uh, Thwomp's Fortress. I think it's this door. Oh no, that's number three. That'll be the... I think that's the snow one. Right, here we go. I think the doors are already unlocked because the animation doesn't play where it says, oh, you can go in the door now. Either that or they just remove the animations just for, like, just to speed things up. I can't fucking walk in a straight line like this. I can fucking see the piranha's teeth. You see, you see that? There we go. Oh shit. I walked too fast. Yeah, I noticed how the camera like goes crazy when you collect the star. Like I can't even focus on the one point. There we go. Oh, it doesn't work like that. I'm going to see if I can wall kick off there and get into that small spot. This I can do quite easily in third person, but I don't, I don't know how well this will work in first person. Nearly. I think I need to double jump into wall kick. Nope, that wouldn't have worked. That wasn't the right angle. When you, when you clip into the fucking fence, it feels like a real task just to unclip yourself from it. Ah. That might have been the right angle there as well, like the correct angle. Nope, that's not even close. Uh, of course, I can't fucking see Mario's feet either, so I can't really time that double jump. Oh, fuck! I got on there and I fucking held forward. I should let go as soon as I do that double jump. It can be done though, like you just saw it. Shit. That time it was just the momentum that made me run off. Easy does it. Nice. Well, that's the highlight of my evening. Woo! 
this game is not suited to first person, you think? Ah, fuck. I shouldn't have jumped there. I bought a couple more games on the Switch during the holiday sales. Like, I've got like a million fucking games on the Switch, but most of the games I own are like indie games. The games I bought were Retro City Rampage DX, and this one wasn't on sale, but I wanted to buy it anyway because it just came out. It's called Blossom Tales, and the best way I can describe it is it's 16 bit Link's Awakening. Fuck. Like, people are quick to compare it to A Link to the Past in terms of the game style, but graphically it looks closer to Link's Awakening, because the sprites are smaller, it looks simpler. Like, graphically. Even though it's 16-bit. Where's the, the bob -omb on this one? A little bob -omb that, like, opens the cannon for you. Yep, Retro City Rampage is on the Switch. I've never actually played that game, but I've heard really good things of it. Uh, this is rough. Just trying to get to the top of the fortress alone is quite difficult. Nah. Ah. Uh Yeah, momentum gave me a bit of a middle finger there. Ah, oh, that fucking... Happy New Year to you as well, Clifford. At least that time I remembered to do a dive to stop the fall damage. Mm, I'm actually going to try something. Nice! Like that trick I can usually do in third person, I didn't think that was going to work first time for first person. And yet there you go. Oh fuck, I'm stuck under him. That's one. Oh. That's two. There we go. That's actually quite fun, trying to fight the bosses in first person. No pun intended, but it really does bring a whole new dimension to, like, boss fighting. Do one more star here and then I'll check the snow level. 
Oh wait, this one requires to get to the top of the fortress again. Let me see if I can find that bomb uh, thingy so that I can like cheese it and get to the top more easily. I could have sworn that bomb appears around here, but I think I need to wait till I get to a certain star for that to happen. Let's see if I can do that uh, cross jump again. Oh, nice. Two for two. And yet I can't even fucking land on that slow moving platform, go me. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Uh. You don't even get that long to, like, judge your jump. There we go. I'm surprised I'm doing this as relatively quickly as I am. I've got enough for Bowser's level, but I'm going to check out the snow level real quick and the... Uh, I guess the swimming level, the water one. Which I can't remember the name of. Yeah, sometimes when you enter a door, you just like turn backwards for some reason when you continue holding up. Hey, Mike. Dive and hit first. Wee. God, this is weird. It almost looks like Mario is invisible right now, like it's still third person. Like when you go down that tunnel. Whoa. The camera went way to below. There we go. I guess for the first frame it doesn't like snap onto Mario until after that animation. I saw some weird red thing there in the distance for a moment there. Don't know if you guys saw that. Don't know if that was like a different load, like a different area, or if that was uh, something that's not normally supposed to be seen. Ah, uh, yeah. When you slide down, you have to fucking change your camera position so you can actually see where you're going. Otherwise, it looks like this. Ah, fuck. I forgot about the snow there. Ah. Again, it's very easy to get stuck on the sides of the bridge.
Nearly. Mm. There we go. I think I cleared the bridge. What happens if I go head first into the snow? Oh, never mind. There we go. Yeah, I want to see what happens when Mario dives his head first into the snow. Like, did you see under the ground or what? Let's find out. Wee. Oh fuck, I didn't dive. I didn't, like, go under the snow. Oh well. The figures I would fucking want to do one of the hardest stars in the game. I have no fucking idea how that works. Not one of the hardest stars in the game, just one of the hardest of that uh, area in particular. Let's do the penguin race. Oh fuck. I was trying to, like, get a semi-head start there by landing in front of it, but I went too far. I jumped right past the trigger and didn't land on it. Couldn't quite judge that in first person. It's like a fucking trapezoid, like from the front. Oh shit! I think that's a game over. Oh, not quite, this is the last leaf. Yeah, there's definitely something like red in the distance when you look past that painting. Right, if I can't beat the race this time, I'll check the war level and then I'll go to Bowser's Domain. Super Mario Odyssey is going to be weird after playing this. I kind of welcome it, to be honest. Okay, good. Oh, fuck. Oh, nice. Fucking clutch. Oh, there it is. Better not bump into that door by accident, otherwise I won't fucking get the star. But I guess I'll go check that uh, Jolly Roger Bay, I think it's called. I'll go check that real quick. had to change that camera there so I could actually fucking see where I was going. Yeah, because if you hold the, the L button, you can do that. Don't know if you need to, like, reorient yourself. I'm basically restraining from doing that as much as I can, but if I really need to, I'll do that.
So what exactly is the trick to getting the eel out of the thing here? Like you just have to be close enough to it? Sometimes it feels like it doesn't want to come out, other times it just comes out right away. Not sure if it's like a trigger you have to hit or... Yeah, you see what I mean? It's just not wanting to come out. Ouch. Okay, that was a bad mistake. Right, fuck it, I'm just gonna go for this one then. Ouch. Try one more time for that radio one, just to see if I can do this. Just making sure I'm staying above the water before I get to the part I want to dive at. Alright, see you later Chris, thanks for watching and Happy New Year to you as well. Yeah, I never really quite understood how to like coax him out of there. Sometimes it just feels like it just happens on its own. Of course, because I'm in first person I'm kinda scared to go anywhere near it in case the hitbox bangs into him. Just like it did the last time. I know some people get PTSD from this fucking thing, so imagine playing this in first person and having to deal with that. Ah. Get some more coins, I guess. Maybe it doesn't work in first person mode, maybe it fucks up with his AI. Like maybe you have to actually do it in third person for him to actually like, acknowledge you're there. Maybe that's why it's get close then swim away. Oh, right, okay. Let me just get some more air, and then I'll go in if he's not back by then. I never actually knew that's what you had to do, like you had to back off from to like actually leave the area. I thought you had to like sort of tease him just by like hanging about until his head pops out. Uh, fuck. Don't go back in. Nice. I don't remember the combination here. That's one. Pretty sure the middle one's the last one. Oh, 
Yep. So if you time this right, you can actually get to the top there before the water like starts to disappear. So let's see if I can do that. Or you can like cover most of this. Nice. Even in first person I can do that, no problem. Right, let's check Bowser's domain then. Need to actually fucking try to get there now. Let's see if I can actually do this on my first attempt. At the very least, see if I can get to Bowser. Ah, fuck. Just to be clear, this is a lot harder than it seems because of like the analog sensitivity. Like if you so much as slightly stray left and right, you just like turn really quickly. Honestly expected to have fallen long before this point, so I'm kinda surprised I got this far. This is usually how I do this part, just go there instead. Oh wait, now I've got to do this in first person? Fuck. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't jump to that part and then try to do that part in first person mode. This is probably I'm going to die. <sighs> ah, fuck. Thought I hit the purple switch there. Oh, camera! I just suddenly turned around there for no reason. Nice. I honestly don't know how the fuck I managed that on my first try. Like, if you want to try that yourself, you might like go for it and tell me how difficult that is. Waiting for him to breathe his fire before I go around. There we go. Right, let's see what this is like in first person. Ah. Yeah, well in this mode you've got to pretty much fucking guess. I've got another song that would be good for that actually. Damn it. Nice. 
whoa, my head is spinning. Yeah, exactly. How about we check out the second set of levels since I got Bowser's Key? Honestly, didn't think I was going to actually get Bowser's Key during this playthrough. But since I've got it, I might as well check the next area. Don't think I'll even get the third key, like, because the second Bowser area is much more hard. M much more difficult. Is Boo available yet? <sighs> Camera! How many stars do you need to get Boo? Oh, there he is. I'm assuming you need like 10 or something, I don't know. <laughs> I like the fact that you can actually see inside the cage there, like when you do that. So Resident Evil 7 looks pretty good, doesn't it? I might check out Resident Evil 7 at some point, but right now I'm doing Revelations and probably do Revelations 2 not long after that. So I'm not sure when I'm going to do uh, Resident Evil 7, but I've heard it's a really good game. It's been on many like Game of the Year lists as well. So good on Capcom for bringing a return to form like Resident Evil, I guess. So yeah, for people not familiar, this mission you have to kill all the boos to get to Big Boo. You know how I was talking about PTSD in first person with the fucking eel? Let's um, intensify that. I can actually see the teeth. Uh, oh fuck. God fucking damn it, that made me jump. I thought it was broken there for a second, like, oh, they didn't program it correctly because it's not, like, behaving to the first person mode, and then it fucking sets itself off, and I legit had a mini fright there. Was there a boo in here? I didn't actually look. Nope. There's one. Ah! I think I know what's going on, why I'm like running out the door as soon as I walk in it. I don't know if you guys can see it on the stream, like it's very quick. But when you, like, as soon as you enter a door, for one frame you turn around for some reason, or the camera turns around. So if I'm holding up while that happens, it makes me walk in that direction instead. Just like it did there right now. And there as well, I've really got to fucking get into the habit of not holding down the up button when I'm walking through the door. Of course I would fuck that up. Once again, when you get, like, when you're brushing against the wall with a camera kind that goes crazy and it's kind of difficult to unstick yourself from the wall.
Of course. Right, well, instead of going in that door, I'm going to go this way. Get the one from the site. There we go. And one more, I think. You fuck. Get through Bowser's domain, first try without dying, and then I fucking fuck up on this. Go, go figure. Ghost figure. Ah. This is not a complete playthrough, by the way, like, this is just a one-off. I just want to check this out. It's a pretty cool idea for a hack, though. Like, th the guy who made this hack has made a number of uh, Mario 64 hacks in the past year, and they've all been pretty good. Uh, of course, that time I hold up and it doesn't fucking make me walk back through the same door. fucking part gets me every time. Like, I'm trying to line Mario up. See, here's the problem. Like, when Mario's on idle, his head bops back and forth. So if his head is, like, facing left, when you press forward, you're going to start walking in that direction. So you have to kind of time it to where Mario's looking in the direction you want to run forward. And since, uh, since there's not a lot of room to, like, run around there, you have to, like, you have to, like, basically take that direction that you're stuck with. Yeah, uh, just a second. So I was just checking Discord there. Oh yeah, I was looking through all the games that I played this year, like new games, not like existing games that came out before. And I put together a top 10 of the games that I like this year, I'll talk about that more when we get to Mario Odyssey after this. I think I would rather talk about it then. Ah, oh, fuck! Ah! I don't want to give up on this, I still want to keep trying that. It's just a pain in the ass to get back up there after you fall. But yeah, I kind of came up with my own top 10 like games of the year, out of the new games that I played this year. And like I said, it doesn't really count like ports or stuff of like existing games, it has to be a brand new game. Otherwise I would have maybe put Kingdom Hearts in there somewhere, but this... Not only is that a game that's been out before, but the port... Like the final mix port has been out more than once. So it's not exactly a brand new game, it's... It's quite old. Uh, 
I actually had, I actually considered putting Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions on the list. But it's not really a port, but it's still an, an old game. But it does have like a, a new game on the side, which is kind of cool. But it wasn't, even even if it was a new game, it wasn't quite top 10 material, I don't think. But it was still a really good game and I would recommend that one. But yeah, we'll talk about the specifics in a little while. Right, there we go, one more. Nice. Ah, what? Why did he fucking turn left? No, no, you saw that? I was landing on, like... I was uh, pretty much about to land on the ground there. I did, and then he fucking turned left and ran right off. Like, I was holding straight forward, so he should have ran toward the door and not fucking straight off it. Oh, so I mentioned that walking in the door glitch is kind of annoying. Because it kind of is. I would like to see this being speedrun, like speedrun. Sp uh, uh, speedrun? Speedrun? Yeah, I would like to see this being speedrun at some point. There's probably already people that are like sort of practicing that, that would be cool to see. I'm a bit done with that. If I kept trying that, it would fucking take me all night, so let's just move along and do a different area. I'm actually kind of curious, is the door already unlocked? I was wondering though, because when I was trying to open the, the other doors, that star animation didn't appear. So I was just thinking, was this hack like designed to remove all the locks and shit? Alright, oh, the, the camera's, like, camera's not behaving right, so I'm gonna have to use... This is weird. Camera doesn't really like the control and the camera don't behave in this room for some reason. It's really difficult to describe, but just trust me when I say it doesn't work too. It doesn't work too well in here, so I'm just going to say fuck it and use that. This is going to be tricky. That means I've got to fucking do that stupid shit again. By which I mean having to fucking navigate through that room where the controls are just completely broken before we get back into that painting.
Let me check how long I've been playing this for, because I might move on about an hour. Let's do it for another, like, 20 minutes, I guess. I don't want to do more than an hour and a half of this. Especially when I've got bullshit like that to c contend with. Yeah, jam that key in there. Yeah, because it's fine here, but as soon as you go into this room... If the game would actually let me go in that room, the controls just completely break. It's kind of hard to describe, but it goes back to like the regular controls. But it's still in first person, so it doesn't really work too well. But it's not like holding up makes you go forward, it's like holding up makes you go in a certain direction. Ah, fuck. Yeah. It's probably the easiest one you can do. Still quite tricky in first person though. I love how the camera just can't handle that. If I can actually get in there. There we go. I know exactly what was happening there when you heard that noise, you just couldn't see it because it was in first person. But Mario was like kinda clipping on the ground, like clipping on the edge. <laughs> I can see you. Ow. There we go. Let's at least see if I can uh, destroy the big bully in this level, since I was not that far off from it. I'm going to go take a different route to it, because that route does not work too well. Ah. Damn it! I bounced off the edge there at the wrong moment. I was just going to cheese it and like do a couple burn jumps over to that platform and then just get rid of him, but Mario bumped off the edge of the platform and I couldn't like quite stay on there. If that makes sense, I can't really, I can't really find the words to describe it. But if you if you're familiar with Mario sixty four. Uh, you should know what I mean by that. Hopefully. Ah! Did the exact same thing. Mm. 
Nope. I think the fucky controls have fixed themselves like once you go back to that area via the painting. Mm. There we go. Yeah, this actually works again once you leave that painting. Right, fucking fifth time's the charm. Let's do it. Ah. Uh. Missed the triple jump. <laughs> no, I was trying to realign myself there, fuck. Dead. Oh, oh no, oh no. Yeah, fuck that. Let's check the desert level real quick. Should have maybe gotten rid of the water so that I could actually go down there quicker. Didn't really think about that. Ah. There we go. Only took me a couple tries to get in now. Right, so let's reduce the moat water so that we can go back there more easily. Not that I'm going to be playing this for that much longer, but it'll save me a bit of time if I have to do this again. <sighs> Fucking camera. Like, there's a, a weird glitch where if you walk through the door, like I, me I mentioned this already, but just to reiterate, if you go through the door, for one frame, the camera points back to the door. So if you're holding up going through that, then you'll just walk back through the door. And I keep fucking forgetting to do that. Like I keep forgetting to let go of the button. Or the control stick, rather. And there we go. I think the game all saves when that happens, so... Oh yeah, this part's fucked up still. For some reason this one room, like when you first enter it, is a little bit fucky. Ah.
There we go. That's very tricky. I'm going to see if I can do the cheese that I do in this level. If I can remember how to do this cheese. There we go. There's actually a second cheese that I do in this level. Let's see if I can do that. Of course, it's probably not that easy in first person. Hey! Nice. At least of nothing else, I was able to pull that off. Ah, shit! I bounced off the pillar there, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Just trial and error that. Not sure if there's much else I can do here. I suppose I could check the other... The other level. Right, well this camera's working again. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, so when it starts to go into all camera mode, it kind of completely fucks up the controls. That's what's going on there. So I need to use this to sort of guide me around. So, real quick, I'm going to check out this last area, I suppose, and then I'm going to call it. And then I'll take a quick break and then I'll switch to Mario Odyssey for a while. The novel of this is fun, but it gets a little bit, like, I get a little bit tired of it after a while. Like, just looking at this, looking at this game with this weird FOV. But it's a really cool hack, I like this. Look, the guy who did this hack has done a number of Mario 64 hacks, all of them really interesting. Again, I think his name is Kaze. K-A-Z-E. Ah, fuck. Can I salvage this? <laughs> no! I accidentally let go of that ledge there, I didn't think I was going to grab one. I guess I'll start by going for the easiest star, which is after that one part. Of course. Nice. Ah! I thought I could, like, squeeze past that. Kind of difficult to judge. 
Can I get a star from him? Yeah, you do. Here we go. That's fine. Ah. Wonder how many half A presses it would take to get sick of this. Right, I'm going to make this the last one. Let's see, uh, Dory. Since that'll link in nicely with Mario Odyssey, since Dory's in that. Dory the Explorer. Ah. There we go. Kind of surprised that worked there, actually. I think Dory is this way, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it's this way. Yeah, Dory looks really different in this game compared to like the later installments. It's not got the goggles or anything. I think Mario 64 DS, they add the goggles and make it more like they modernise the design to where it's supposed to look nowadays. Jump on its back. Shit. Of course, the first person gives that extra layer of challenge to it. There we go. I would have done that in first person, but I just kind of wanted to stop there, so... At least I can say I completed it. So, there you go. That was kind of cool, I liked that. It was fun to check that out, but I think I'm just about done with it now. Oh, there we go. I can't remember what button you press to like go into that thing where it like sticks all the body parts where you leave them. I used to do this with Mario, like give him shades. At least that's what it's supposed to look like. I 
Hi, Ender. There we go. He looks pretty happy. Right, well that's the end of that then. I hope you enjoyed that weirdness that was Mario 64 first person.